Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Ducati Biker Channel. Um, while I'm here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona, this is where I installed my integrated um, taillight with the blinkers. And so I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about this setup because it runs great. Um, it's kind of like a plug and play system, but this is what the underneath of the bike looks like. So there needs to be like some sort of cover that covers this little section of wires, which I haven't really figured out yet. Um, this is obviously for the blind spot detection, which I obviously don't use because I removed my mirrors. But other than the fact that this looks nice and it's sleek and it's just removing the tail tidy, now I feel like I need to remove these guards the you know the for the rack and for the passenger to hang on and move this that way it'll be like a nicer cleaner setup but if you guys just look right here it's pretty straightforward it's uh it's it's bright enough too so let me just turn on the bike the only thing i don't like is i just took this into the ducati dealership now for most people who ask me a lot of questions when you remove your mirrors with your blind spot detection, you're gonna get this little error right here and it says blind spot detection error because I don't have these connectors activated or opened up at all. So I just have them with like an end stud there. I'm still trying to figure out the best way. What most people do is they'll end up putting like Rizoma blinkers and like attaching them there or there. I'm still trying to figure something else out, but let's see, let me just hit these uh, caution lights right here. So as you can see, it works great. There's plenty of light. And when you hit the bright light at night, or I mean, just any time during the day, it lights up pretty well. My only problem with this tail light, and I've actually been talking to the manufacturer right now. That's weird. Oh yeah, well, my key's away from the bike. I was like, why did that just stop? So yeah, um, is that the relays are not the same. So most of you probably would have expected that, but on this bike, um, since the relays are not the same, I'm getting a error code on the dash for the cruise control, which is super annoying because this taillight should have nothing to do, let me put my key here, with the cruise control. So now I have integrated taillight and for most of you, you know, who have this bike and know the cruise control is up here. This is where the adaptive cruise control is where it works and where it's monitored and stuff like that. So let me see if I could just give you an explanation. I'll turn this back on. So I brought it to the dealership and they were like, listen, you need to return it to stock to see what's wrong, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I don't want to because I know what it's like stock. So let me just see if I like, and this is the taillight when it's just like normal running. So again, it's, it's really bright. It works really well. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that they, the company, let's see. Yeah, you see, I immediately just hit the brake. I just applied the rear brake, and then immediately when I tap the rear brake, this code comes on for the cruise control. And then that light comes on too. So now I have blind spot detection, I have a warning light for this, and then I also have that right there, which really annoys me. I'm not a fan of that. But it's just because the relays are not the same. So let me just turn a a blinker on here you see this one's like flashing a lot faster than what it would normally do and if you come to the front of the bike that's flashing right normal but then it's not flashing if you could kind of keep your eye right here they're not flashing at the same rate so you can see the, you can see the front's flashing like really quickly and the rear is kind of just doing its own little like Audi turn signal thing so a little frustrating um but as you can see that's like what it looks like when the turn signal is turning so again the unit works fine it's just the company who designed this didn't account or even test this on a multi-strata anything to see that the relay was malfunctioning um with this so what you would have to do to eliminate this error and this error right here, because I like to use my cruise control now that I know how it works on the freeway if I'm going really fast. If not, I don't use cruise control, but I don't like there to be a bunch of errors on my bike. So what I have to do is I've already contacted this company and I told them about it and they're like, oh, well, you know, we're gonna contact you back and see what we could do for, you know, a relay or whatever. But I was like, man, you guys should have already done that, but they didn't. Either way, this tail light's uh, 160 bucks. I could put the link in the description if you guys subscribe and that way I could show you guys where I got it and how it works. But either way, 
This is what it looks like from a side profile. Um, I mounted like a little bracket here for my license plate. This is where my license plate will go. And then I gotta find like a cover for this because you know, it's just the tail light blind spot detection, which I don't use because I don't have the mirrors. And then I need to make a little cover for this. And this is just something I just put there for when I do put my license plate on and the light and everything like that functions. Now, yeah, so now I think the next thing I have to do, you know, is to take off the rack because it's gonna really clean up the rear. I'm just trying to make this thing look as super moto-ish as possible. For those of you who haven't seen, that's the Powerworks Racing that I've been testing. But overall, everything works well. If you guys do get this integrated taillight and you found a different uh, setup, please let me know. But also what they're gonna do is they're just gonna pretty much send me like a relay switch that way it'll just flash correctly in terms of blinkers and that way i don't have this air set up right here and that air set up right there but otherwise than that that's kind of what it looks like here's another nice side profile of how it looks and um yeah so far so good almost at uh, 15,000 miles on my bike here in beautiful sedona arizona and um, yeah, that's the integrated taillight for you guys with the integrated turn signals or the smoked out taillight with integrated turn signals. And yeah, it's not that bad. I like it. I just don't like how it's sending my bike a bunch of errors and codes and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to get into that a little bit later. But um, if you guys have any other questions, you know, make sure you join, subscribe, click, write a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any solutions uh for the for the blinkers that way the relays are the same that way i'm not getting any error codes and um as always i'll keep you guys updated and stay tuned thanks again